Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for stopping by uh, yet again for another video. Um, this is just going to be a really, really quick update on my previous video about that chemical plant in Texas, um, which they said that they were not able to prevent from exploding or catching fire if it if it wanted to, and they said it, it basically that and at a moment it could so what this is this quick update because that has actually started to happen and says Crosby Texas chemical plant explodes twice and our chemo group says it goes on to say two explosions shook a flooded chemical plant near Houston early Thursday sending a plume of black smoke into the air and triggering an intense fire that continues to burn Authorities warned that the further blasts were likely to occur on site since chem uh, chemicals weren't being stored at the appropriate temperatures after the facility lost power following Hurricane Harvey. It says residents in a 1.5 mile radius of the Ar Akima plant uh, were first evacuated Tuesday and the water levels there remain too dangerous for workers to assess the situation from the ground, officials said. That's why we want people to respect the radius. It's not over. There is very, this is very serious, and we know that, Richard Bernard of the Akima Group said at the news conference. He added that the explosions were not massive and that the pressure building up inside the containers where the chemicals are located eventually produces a popping sound. The smoke was emanating from the facility, irritating the eyes and throats of more than a dozen law enforcement officers who were monitoring the scene, said Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez. Some of them went to the hospital out of precaution. It's basically like standing over a barbecue pit or something like that, he said, where you get smoke in your eyes. Um, the plant in Crosby, Texas, about 20 miles northeast of Houston, was inundated by more than 40 inches of rain from Harvey and has been without electricity since Sunday. The plant manufactures organic per, uh, uh, per, peroxide, sorry, peroxides commonly used in everyday products like kitchen countertops, industrial plants, uh, polystyrene cups, and plates and the PVC piping. The materials must be kept very cool otherwise there is potential for a chemical reaction leading to a fire and or explosion within the site uh, confines, Akima said. Now here's the thing like the explosions haven't been big but what they're more worried about in this situation is the smoke from these chemicals harming people you know uh, I, I believe um, so a few police officers even um, uh, had to uh, go to the uh, emergency room for precautions that were around the plant when it caught fire. Um, as it says, our chemical group, even one of the world's largest chemical companies, has warned Wednesday that the plant would catch fire at some point, and it did. Um, I just so that that's right there is just a real quick update, it, it, and it, and it, there's there's fears of more explosions that come. So even though these first ones were smaller. It's not the explosions there's worried about. That's really the fire and the plumes of smoke coming from the fire of these chemicals burning off. So, you know, they did have a set radius in place. So hopefully no one is harmed in the situation. But I just wanted to, to, to update you on the situation. So the chemical plant, due to this flooding from Hurricane Harvey slash Tropical Storm Harvey, has actually caught fire at this point. There has been two minor explosions. But so there could be larger explosions to come. Like I'm not saying there will be. There could just be smaller explosions. But they're, what they're worried about is the actual burn off of the chemicals and the smoke from the chemicals harming people and animals and and whatnot and and the area and in general. So again, just a quick update on the story. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for the support and watching these videos. Though for those of you that do, be sure to share, like comment down below and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Peace.